What's going on? Oh, I was looking at World Cup rosters, uh, and like, I don't usually see the, I don't see the usual names, which is kind of a surprise. Well, oh, this is, this isn't yeah. actually for the Cricket World Cup. Uh, that, this is a separate thing, I think. Yeah, no, the first game uh, that India plays is at 3 in the morning. I guess that's what happens when you're playing on the other side of the world. Yeah, but even then, it's still early. No, if you're in India, it's uh, it's noon. That's a noon mm-hmm. first pitch. That's still kind of, first. That's still kind of early. Well, we know we had a lot of noon kickoffs. That's true. Um, well, you can watch. You're gonna have to uh, watch a recording, I guess. No, I'll just watch the highlights afterwards. Yeah, it's in India, that's why. This is the Experience Podcast with me and someone else. What's up? What's up? There's here. We're supposed to have one more, and... I'm going to leave the door open because they could still show up. Uh, Has that ever happened? Where, like, someone shows up, like, in the middle of us recording and we just keep going? They have. That's definitely happened. Maybe not recently, but it's definitely happened. So I would not rule it out. But I would rule it out. Um, It's it's happened before, like, a couple of times. Maybe once or twice. Interesting. Um, But for now, it's just us. Uh, I don't know what happened. But cool. um, we'll assume the worst. So uh, cool. what's going on with you, though? You got the Quicker World Cup. We already talked about that. Yeah. Um, you're not going to be you're not going to be watching it because it's going to be way yeah. too early for you. At least the well, first. Yeah. At least the I'll first. Just game, the, right? I'll just watch the highlights. At least for the first game. I'm sure like future matches will be later. So it is what it is. Um. Like a seven like a seven p.m. first pitch in India would be. Um, about ten o'clock, ten thirty, here, nine thirty ish. Yeah, and that's doable for you. Yeah, that's doable. It's got to wake up at a reasonable time. What you, ten o'clock is is not a reasonable time. It is a reasonable time. What are you talking about? What do you, what do you mean you got to wake up at a reasonable time? Yeah. Oh, because because uh, the other times would not be reasonable. I see. Okay, I didn't. I, you made it sound like you were like a, or at least I interpreted it as like you're sleeping in super late. Honestly. I mean, sometimes I do. It depends. Maybe yeah. That's yeah. That's what you do. What you gotta do. Um. So what else is going on? With you? Uh very uneven. A very uneven couple of weeks for Georgia State football. Obviously, uh, last week was, uh, let's not talk about that. That wasn't good. What's going on? What does Andrew Thacker have on somebody? Because he keeps, he keeps getting moved around positions because he doesn't do well. Look, um, he should... did, like, pretty good when, uh, we, uh, he did pretty good after Collins left, like, I don't disagree with him getting a second chance. This, what I'm saying is this is not his second chance. He's had a lot of chances. Um, well, you he, know what I mean. A second chance in the sense of, like, new regime. You usually expect, like, a new head coach to, you know, clean house. Yeah, and they kept but him, he which, didn't, which was... Yeah, like he, like, he clean house on the offensive side, but... On the defensive side, he kind of left it, left it intact. Except for the fact that he lost his linebacker's coach and also his D-line coach. 
yeah, no, I, I get that, but like he, um, I don't know, the defense hasn't been good enough for that. So I feel like okay, well, it's it hasn't like. been consistently good. It hasn't been consistently okay, good. Sure. I mean, that's how defense works. Like, but you saw the you saw the Wake Forest game, right? Did you see the Wake Forest game? Um, yes, I saw most of it. Oh, I was there. Okay, well, we can't all be at every game, all right? Um, um but dude was uh, the, the the defense did really really good, like as far as like creating havoc and shit, and like getting me getting to the quarterback. Sure, but like I think you like especially uh especially this year, the the defense has been what's let the team down. In my opinion. It's gonna make it bad. It's gonna make it bad. Fine. Yeah. The defense has been a mixed bag, but the offense, uh, I'm, I'm pleased with the offense. Like we, I mean, we have a quarterback. Like we have a, we have a quarterback who can make yeah, those. They have real players now, now that they, uh, that the whole, all the skill positions are transfers. Um, oh, I was gonna say that Buster Faulkner actually is a better play caller than Dave Patton and Chip Long. Sure, but they also got all new skill position players. As transfers this year, pretty much all of them, right? Maybe a couple or not transfers of the starters. I mean, Dante Smith is, is still around. Uh, Jamal That's Haynes true, was the freshman, he, but Dante Smith isn't isn't really the lead back anymore. Ja- Jamal was Haynes was originally on the roster. Malik Rutherford was originally was on the okay. roster. But that's it. Uh, All the other guys. Uh, well, uh, what's the guy? What's the tight end saying? Dylan Leonard is that? Dylan Leonard was originally on the roster. Yeah. All right, so half of them, but that's still a lot of and transfers. What, like three fifths of the offensive line? Uh, no, the offensive line, the offensive line was on the roster, but they had a couple transfers. But I, I mean, it's what two receivers? They got a running back, but he hasn't really played, right? Uh, no, yes. Fred Cooley, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, he's he's the second. Uh, he Haynes and Jamal Haynes have basically been like the one and two. I'd like to see. I ho- hopefully, we'll see Jamie Felix back and some more Dante Smith and Evan Dickens. Apparently, he had a really good spring game. I wonder what uh, what they'll do with him. He's probably gonna redshirt the year or something. I, it's very confusing. When, especially on the broadcast, when you when they hear Haynes carries the ball because that's the quarterback. Because there's two Haynes. Name. It's quarterback. Well, it's his first name. Luckily, it's not his last name, but it's his yeah. first name, and then also the the running back's last name. It, it it takes me a second to think about it. I'm like, oh no, that's right. Although the quarterback doesn't really uh, scramble as much, perhaps as as no, he does. Not as much as previous quarterbacks. That's what I'm saying. He does to a certain extent. Um, He's pretty. I mean, he can run. So basically, yeah, but he I'm can he run. He doesn't run. Much. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm saying. Can't, I'm saying. Yeah. It's a choice. I'm not saying he can't. Yeah. I mean, but they do call a good bit of like they've called like the zone read. They, you know, they, they call the zone read and stuff, or the inverted veer. Um, I think I've seen the inverted veer a couple times. You know what I haven't seen a speed option since like what? You know, when's the last time we ran speed option? Maybe last like, year. What? None. Uh, last year? Well, last. Yeah. No, two years ago. Two years yeah. ago. I can't remember individual play calls. Okay. But you know the the general con. But you can you you can identify the general concept. You know what I mean? Um, yes. Yes. Probably. I feel like they did it last year. I don't remember. No, nah, they ran a lot of QB power. Like, it was either QB power or QB draw. 
Yeah, they did do a lot of controls. Yeah. But no, like that um, was a that was a good game. The the Wake Forest game. The Wake Forest. What about last week? This year. Yeah, yeah. It was Pat, the week before. Or two weeks before, right? Yeah. Uh, look, I want to write off last week as a fluke. Just, just based on what I've seen Brent Key do, like historically, I want to write off that. I want to write off Bowling Green as a fluke. I want to write it off as not a fluke, but sure. I, th- I think it was. I think it was a fluke. I think. I think it was a fluke. But let's see what they gave us uh, this week. Uh, I mean, it's this, Miami. This game... Nobody likes Miami. And That's true. like. I think I think we can it's on ESPN. I think we can with this o'clock. game. It's on ACC Network, yeah. At eight o'clock. Um well this so by the time this podcast comes out, the game has already happened. So what was the score? Uh I think I think we win but not by much. I think our offense still can put up put up points against uh against this against Miami and then the defense like barely does enough to like hold off. Uh I'm going to call it 28-27 Georgia Tech. So, let me pull up uh can you hear something? What does it sound like? I don't know. I'm hoping you can't hear the background noise in my my house right now. Um let me pull up. I'm trying to pull up the spread, but it's not coming up. Okay, uh, that's not it. The spread is minus 17. Is it minus 17? I'm seeing something else. Last, the first I, when I saw okay. it initially, it was yes. minus 17 Miami, which was the. Where is it? Where's the? The the yeah so actually no it was minus twenty Miami yeah, I saw minus twenty and a half twenty and a half um, yeah no I think Georgia Tech covers at the very least I think Georgia Tech covers I don't think hell I think Miami wins I, I think Georgia Tech wins you already like, said Miami um we just heard that it's on the record nah nah Georgia Tech covers. At the like at the very least Miami wins Georgia Tech covers, but heck, I think Georgia Tech's gonna win. Yeah, line Miami twenty twenty and a half. Um Yeah, we have the offense to cover that. I'm telling you the defense especially with the little coordinator shake up, you know? Uh I don't know. Let's find out. That's the crazy thing about this team. You really never know what to expect. It's like one week we'll lose to Bowling Green, and then the next week we'll do something crazy. I mean, look at, like, 2015. Like, one week we lost a penalty last second field goal, and the next week we won in dramatic fashion. Or, like, what's another good one? Ah. Uh, was it maybe something like that last year? Well, I don't remember what it was. Yeah, last year we, we lost to UCF. Fired Coach Collins, beat Pitt, beat Duke, and for a hot second there, actually had control the could have had control of the ACC. Yeah, that was that was circumstances. Uh, that was the circumstances around it. Unfortunately, Jeff Sims then got hurt and wasn't quite the same, and then. And I, I don't know what Chip Long was doing. Yeah, what's Chip Long doing now? How's he doing? Let's look this up. For those Chip Long for the, 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 is the, the, for the three people in the Louisville. world that are wondering what's Chip Long doing, he's just an offensive assistant for Louisville right now. I think he's not even a coordinator anymore. That sucks. So. Actually, I don't know if that's. I don't know if I can say that sucks a bit. He's a defensive analyst. 
Uh, offensive analyst. What does that mean? Um, it can mean a number of things. So it could mean like uh, studying playbooks or not so much studying uh, game film of the upcoming. Uh, team, like Speaking defense, of Louisville, stuff like that. Speaking of Louisville, they're undefeated. Uh, we obviously we lost to them. Um, they've got wins against Indiana, Boston College, uh, College, and NC State. What do you think they do against Notre Dame? Oh, and they're ranked. Notre Dame or uh, Louisville's ranked. What do you think they do against Louisville. Notre Dame? Is that this week? Yep. It's like everything. Is like Notre Dame is is at seven thirty on ABC. We're at eight on the ACC network. The Braves are at six on TBS. Um, I mean, I don't think Louisville wins. I don't know what this spread is right now. Six and a half? Listen, uh, Duke almost won against Notre Dame. All right? They almost pull it off. They lost by seven. Who's to say Louisville can't actually uh, overcome them? Say what you will about Jack Plummer and versus Riley Leonard at QB, but... Hey, just saying. Uh, I don't know. I think I think Notre Dame powers. Nah. I think you're being a little optimistic there. Listen, I don't like it's like do I think Notre Dame is overrated? Absolutely. Do I think Sam Hartman is a great quarterback? Also, yes. That being said, um is it possible? Absolutely. But also, why are you surprised? Surprised by what? That I'm so optimistic? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not surprised. Who said, who said oh, I, I mean, you marched with me for four years, for crying out loud. Four? Is it four years? Yeah, four yeah, years. Yeah, four years. 2016, 2017, 2018, and then you just stuck around in 2019. Yeah, but so Did you, you graduate said, at yes. during COVID? Yeah, I did. Shit. Well, I did and I didn't, right? My first graduation, I didn't. Or I graduated before COVID. Or did you go back to grad school? Yeah, I got a master's in my fifth year. That's what I thought. And, uh... I was wondering, I was like, did you go back to grad school? That makes sense now. I did. But, yeah, I think... So what is the spread for... uh... When we did the uh, picks for from for the from from the rumble seat um thing pool, uh, they had the spread at yeah Notre Dame Virginia six and a half. Or no, I'm talking about Notre. Dame. But yeah, yeah their spread was yeah. uh, Miami Miami minus twenty, and Notre Dame minus six and a half. Oh, yeah. They also have UGA minus 15 against Kentucky, um, even though UGA looked uh, kind of weak against Auburn. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Also, what's up with Bama this year? Um, You know, they're, they're doing... They're, it's like they're <laughs> minus know. three and a half against Texas A&M, and they don't have a quarterback. Well, or at least not one say. that is uh, that they've allowed to uh, sink or swim. No, you know, now that I mentioned that, if there's one like complaint against a multi-quarterback system, it's that. Like, 
you gotta let a quarterback sink or swim. You know what I mean? Um, how did that work for Jeff Sims though? He sank. <laughs> okay, okay, sure. Well, he got a, he got a new job. Well, well, paid, but, you know, to be fair, that. like he came out looking solid. Um, this year? No, yeah, his, when when we said. got him, like he actually came out looking looking good, and then he just oh, was... I don't know stalled. I don't know if I call that him sinking or uh, the coaching staff failing to develop him. Or play to strengths. I mean, it was probably both. Or yeah, or the was. fact that he could stay healthy. How much is that? That's true. He's got he's hurt again this year. What did he hurt this time? Uh. Uh. Let's see. I, I saw he got hurt. Uh, Sucks. Um, I don't know. I can't find it. Uh, you know what? And he might even lose his starting job when he comes back. As long as he gets his degree, uh, he'll be what fine. What did he hurt? Nothing. Well, he'll get his degree. If he stayed at Tech, he would definitely be fine. Let's see if it says it here. If it was his ankle, that sucks. It was his ankle. Was it? I can't even. I am struggling to find this. Um, yeah, it was his ankle. Let me tell you, Google, can you put this, can you make this easier to find? Because I've been scrolling this whole time. How long has it been? Like two minutes? And I can't find Switch to DuckDuckGo. Really? Well, it's not even Google. It's all these articles that they don't even tell me. Yeah, no, it was his ankle. I found it. Uh, by the way, it was his ankle. He hurt his ankle. I'm uh, just letting you know. I don't know if you, I don't know if you found that information, but I just found it. Yeah, ankle injuries yeah. are uh, ankle injuries are not fun. I think even his freshman year, he injured his ankle. Um, it's like it's yes, part I of like how much injured. of it is like he's he injured his ankle and that like made him suck. And how much of it is he got coached out of being aggressive? Yeah, coached out of being aggressive. I don't think he got coached out of being aggressive. Mm. I think he's sort of always struggled with, like, accuracy and... <laughs> um, I figure the accuracy say, can teach. I would say also, like, maybe pocket presence. Like, he can get out of a jam, but he... Sure. He, uh... But he doesn't, he doesn't see it happening until very late in the process, I guess is what I mean. Like, he holds on to the ball too long. And, you know, maybe that's the offense or whatever, but... But still. that's something you can teach. I know. I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying those are, <laughs> those are his problems. Yeah, that's fair. Those were the things he needed to work on. Yeah, like, you can... I feel like you can teach accuracy. You can teach... You can teach pocket presence to a, to an extent. Some of it is instinctual. Look at Tom Brady. Uh, what else? You can, Obviously, you got to be able to teach progressions. You can't teach arm strength. You can't really teach speed. You can teach good mechanics, but you can't teach arm strength. I mean, you can build arm strength, too, um, to a certain extent. But I don't think that was an issue. His arm strength was fine. That was probably his best quality. Well, he wasn't accurate on the deep throws. I think I mentioned this at some point, but, like, whenever I saw him play, like, 
whenever he threw deep, like he always threw it like a he always threw a howitzer. Like he had the he had the arm, but he always threw like a laser. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, are you saying that he needs to uh sort of refine his approach based on the throw? Specifically throw with touch. Yeah. Um I probably that's probably also me. Look, he's got he's got some things to work on. Um But dead serious, like I really like this upside. Still I like yeah, his game. Everyone loves Everyone loved his upside. That's why he was such a, a highly kind of touted prospect. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but you know, he's he's done. Well, <laughs> he's on a new team, and now uh, he might not even be a starter anymore. So, I I'm gonna I'm, I think I think we can both agree that like, we're gonna call that. Uh, Stall development. Oh, yeah. I don't think Georgia Tech did a great job with that. Because I think even last year, I was talking to whoever. Maybe it was you. I was like, he looks like, maybe it was Chase, actually. I was like, he looks like the same guy he did, you know, two years ago or whatever. Yeah. I think it just doesn't, you, you, you would hope after, like, three years being the starter, or, you know, after two years, let's say, being the starter, that he would have developed more than he did, and he just kind of looks like the same guy. I mean, look, man did a good job with the uh, art. The Chris Winkie did a good job with the pro, at least out the gate did a good job with Zach Pyron so far, and also like Haynes King looks good. I don't know how much of that is he's gotten P five burn, and how much of that is he's working with Chris Winkie, but Haynes King looks good. Yeah, I mean, he's also, like, a real quarterback. <laughs> so, sure. Like you said, he's played in, yeah. in college football plenty. Well, yeah, we got some... Jeff Sims has, too. I don't know. We also got some guy named Aaron Philo coming in. Apparently, he looks really good. As I haven't looked at who's coming in. I mean, like we said, we obviously we would have loved if Jeff Sims worked out, but uh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Seeing him force the transfer kind of hurt, but hey, like we got Zach Pyron, he could be Josh Allen. He he's got some Josh Allen upside to him, in the sense of like that's what his I think that's what his game translates to, and uh, Haynes King is doing good. I don't know how many years of eligibility he's got left, but he's gonna give us some high. He's giving us some good quarterback play, really good quarterback play. Uh, pull up the recruiting list over uh, here. Yeah. So That's he got burn in twenty eight. He got burn in twenty twenty. I think he redshirted, and then he played in 2021, he played in 2022, and then he transferred here. So, I think he's got two years left. He's got two years left. Zach Pyron technically still has all four years left. Yeah, but I mean, is he going to start Those next two. year? Those two, I think we're saying? stuck for a little while. You think Pyron's going to start next year? Or does, nah. Or does King, does King no, he's going to he's gonna become, he's probably going to become full-time starters. That's going to be interesting. I wonder what's going to happen to Zach Pyron. I like he his game. Transfer. I like his game. I don't know. I think he might actually, he might be able to push Hans King for, for a starter job. He might. We'll see. I, just, I haven't seen a ton of him. I, see, I mean, obviously he played a little bit uh, two years ago, right? Last year. 
last year, whatever, whatever two years, you know, by two years ago I meant last year. It was fine. You sound like my karate instructor. Hey, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um. All right. Well, I mean, that, that's kind of Georgia Tech football, which we went on for a while, actually. Do you have anything else you wanted to talk about? Um. um we could still wait for the other guests. I mean, what are they going <laughs> to have in the conversation? I wonder. Says, aren't you hungry? Me? I'm not just hungry for a W, but just did you have dinner yet? I did. Yeah, I'm, I still gotta eat dinner. Uh, it is what it is. All right, we'll let you go eat because it's get for the yeah. listeners. It's getting a little late for him. Uh, yeah, as far fine. as eating, and he's got to be up in a few hours for the cricket match. So. Oh, I'm not watching. I'm playing for his big next. I'm playing for his <laughs> tomorrow morning. <laughs> All right. Thank you for coming on. Anytime.